Okay, so in this video we've got a couple of electromagnetism questions and we're starting um, on uh, June 2010, Unit 4, at Excel paper, Physics on the Move, question 11. Diagram shows a horizontal wire which is at right angles to the magnetic field. The magnetic field is produced by a horseshoe magnet which is on a balance and is adjusted to read zero when the current in the wire is zero. When the current is 4 amps, the reading on the balance is 0.8 grams. The length of the wire in the magnetic field is 0.05 meters. Calculate the average magnetic flux density along the length of the wire. Okay, so this is basic use of F equals BIL. Um, there's no need for um, an angle to be put in it because the uh, wire is running through the magnetic field at right angles. The magnetic field will run between the poles of the horseshoe magnet and therefore it's cutting across that wire at 90 degrees. Okay, so firstly, F equals BIL is what we're looking at here. But F also equals MG from the reading on the balance. So we can put those two things equal to each other. And then we should just rearrange that for B. And then just substitute and find the answer. Uh, just remember that it's 0.8 grams, not 8 grams. So you need another zero here. And just feed that into the calculator. And that gives us 0 0.039 Tesla. Right, same June 2010 paper, question 12 this time, another electromagnetism one. Okay, Faraday and Lenz's laws are summarized in the list of formulae as uh, EMF equals D of N phi by DT. State the meaning of N phi. Okay, well that's just your flux linkage, uh, magnetic flux linkage. Explain the significance of the minus sign. Well, the minus sign, remember, comes from Lenz's law. And you need to explain there that the EMF, um, according to Lenz, would always try to oppose the change causing it. So the minus sign goes in to indicate that the EMF is trying to oppose what is causing it. Okay, so the induced EMF opposes the change causing it, and this is really um, conservation of energy in action because if the if a current formed um, in the induced side and it actually formed in such a way as to attract uh, a magnet, for example, towards the coil, then the magnet would accelerate and you would get extra energy. Um, so it would start to give you energy for nothing, and that wouldn't make any sense. So it always opposes the change causing it, so you have to do work to make a current at the other side. And that's it for these two questions.